Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're going to take a look at the flick boards. Now the range of flick boards is 3D gesture and tracking. So what this does is allows you to use this as an interface board. So you can use it to control other projects um, such as motors, robotics, and even an interface for um, Kodi or some other presentation. Um, yeah, so we've got three different hat boards here. Uh, we've got one for the Pi Zero. Uh, we've got one for the sort of standard Raspberry Pi with a 4 way header uh, as a hat board. And um, we've also got a much larger one as well, uh, which connects using a ribbon cable. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to unbox each one and show you what's inside. Uh, so first of all, we're going to start off with the Pi Zero version. Get it all out. Uh, so what do we got here? Um, we've got a nice little Pi Supply sticker there. Uh, we've got another sticker there from Mod My Pi, uh, one of our partners on creating this project. Uh, we've got our Flick logo sticker there. Uh, so we've got a bit of compliance information if you want to read that. It uh, just talks about the CE and FCC uh, Wii directories uh, and some of the design information on there if you need to read that. We've also got an uh, introduction card. Um, so this just has some information on the, on the back. Um, so you can contact us at the uh, sales at Pi Supply or PySupply.com. Um, you can also go to ModMyPi for more information as well on the on these flip boards. Um, so obviously it comes with the mounting screws. Um, these are sort of standard nylon mounts to make sure it's uh, securely fastened to the Pi Zero board. Uh, so let's take a look at the main board itself. Uh, so as you can see, it's uh, a fat, fat board for the Pi Zero. Um, there isn't really much to see on the front, on the top of the board. Um, you can sort of make the outline of the um, sort of the antenna, so to speak. Um, what it does, it basically creates a, sort of a field around the board itself. Um, so when an object comes in, um, comes in in the field, um, it's able to detect it, and uh, depending on sort of the movement. If you're going sort of right to left or back to front, it'll be able to detect the direction of the uh, motion uh, on the board. Uh, so on the, on the reverse side, um, we've obviously got the 40-way through header. Um, you can't add a stacking header to this. Um, also has the main chip on it, which is a microchip uh, gesture, the 3D gesture chip. Um, it's basically just a reference design we took off the uh, data sheet for that chip. Um, there's also a bit of information there um, and also the web links on the other side as well. Uh, so let's see what we've got on the other boxes here. Um, so let's take a look at the flick hat. I'll just move them to one side. Um, so we've got all the same information that's in the other pack, um, some stickers and uh, some web links you can you can follow there. Um, we've got the nylon screw mounts as well, the same ones. So the main board itself, um, as you can see, it's a much lar larger area. Um, be able to detect, it'll be able to detect uh, much larger objects and also have a bigger um, field for the 3D gesture as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much on the reverse side. We've got the uh, EPROM chip and the uh, microchip gesture uh, controller as well. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it for the uh, hat board. So uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the bigger board we've got. 
Um, this is the large edition of the uh, flick boards. So just some boxes here. So as you can see, it's, uh, you know, compared to the other boards, it's uh, four or five times the size. Um, it's pretty neat for using it as a controller board. Um, obviously it connects to the Raspberry Pi using the ribbon cable, so you can have it separate from the Pi. Um, what's good about this 3D, 3D gesture is that it, it can also work through objects as well. Uh, as long as they're not too thick, not too dense, um, you can hide it sort of behind a bit of glass or a bit of wood or plastic or, or so on and so forth. Um, the range, it'll work out typically in good conditions, uh, like this for example as it is. You could probably get between 10 and 15 centimetres away from the board. Um, so if I was gesturing over the board like this, it would detect it. Um, the kind of uh, gestures that it can detect is uh, touch. Uh, so I can touch the board anywhere and it'll be able to pick up um, sort of either the top, bottom, the left or right. Um, I think in the software it's north, south, east, east and west. Um, you can also do sort of swipes, so you can do you know side to side, back to front. Uh, what you can also do is like a imaginary sort of mouse wheel, uh, and it can detect sort of the the direction you're gesturing towards. Uh, you, you can flick it sort of side to side and back to front, and you can also do little spins. Uh, it'll pick up clockwise, anti-clockwise spins as well. Um, so there's, there's quite a lot of gestures it can pick up. Um, also, if you want to make some of the sensing more accurate, you can also um, program the firmware to sort of not detect certain gestures. It kind of makes the other gestures more accurate um, on the board. Um, yeah, so basically, um, if you want to connect it to the Pi, you just connect this ribbon cable. Uh, if you go onto the website, uh, PySupply.com, uh, you can find information on where, how to connect uh, these other pins to the Raspberry Pi. Um, so you got, I'll just read out what the pins are on here. Uh, so you've got your VCC voltage, you've got the communication is done over I2C. Uh, you've got a reset pin, uh, we've got ground and a couple of LEDs on there as well. Uh, we also do a range of cases as well, uh, so if you want to put it in an enclosure, you can uh, you can do that. You can go to the website to check that out. Uh, we've also got another video to show you how to assemble uh, the flick board and the cases as well. So be sure to check that out on our YouTube channel. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these boards or any of the flick range of products, uh, you can pop a comment in the box below or you can go to our website and contact us uh, via the web link or uh, via our social channels as well. Uh, so thanks very much for watching guys and until next time, I'll see you then.